It's been four months since a massive explosion at Beirut's port destroyed and damaged surrounding neighborhoods, killing 200 people and injuring thousands. An investigation has yet to provide an explanation on what caused nearly 3,000 tons of ammonium nitrate to explode. But for the first time, senior officials are being charged. The caretaker prime minister, Hassan Dieb, along with three former ministers, are accused of negligence. Dieb says his conscience is clear and that he has no intention of being questioned again. He is now the first prime minister in Lebanon's history to be charged. Dieb was forced to resign days after the blast, but later returned as caretaker. He was only in power for a few months when the explosion happened. That's why some are questioning the judicial decision. The deep state is protecting itself, uh, and the clearest indicator to that is with that accusation uh, to the current prime minister, they also accused three previous transportation ministers who are directly responsible for the port, but failed to accuse the three previous prime ministers who've been in power since 2014 when the nitrate ammonium shipments came into Lebanon. So it is very clear that this has been a very selective accusation by the deep state, which includes the major six political parties and their leaders. Jeb repeatedly acknowledged receiving prior warnings about the dangers posed by the ammonium nitrate, but he wasn't the only one. So far, low- and mid-level employees at the port and custom authorities have been charged, and that is why there has been so much public anger. Official correspondence between various branches of government show the president, the now caretaker prime minister, former and current ministers, as well as security officials and judges, knew that large amounts of explosive material were at the port and failed to take action. It was one of the world's biggest non-nuclear explosions, and for many, it was the direct result of corruption encouraged by a political class that governed for decades. This is not enough. All this destruction in Beirut is due to a history of corruption before Hassan Diab and after him. They should question all of them. Families of the victims have been protesting against the delay in justice. Now a high-ranking official is being held to account, but this process could drag on for years. Already some are saying Diab is being unfairly targeted. He once said, corruption is bigger than the state. Zana Khudr Al Jazeera, Beirut.